everyone! Welcome back to Sabado's Kitchen. Today we have some leftover parts from our grilled pork, particularly the ears, cheeks, and snout. The ones we are using have been deboned. And this brings us to our dish for today. We are making sizzling sisig. Sisig is a popular dish in the Philippines, particularly in Pampanga. The name sizzling comes from the hot plate that this is served into. Also, to add more flavor to our sisig, we will be adding chicken liver. You can either boil the chicken liver or grill it as well. To this, we will also add in chopped white onions. The ratio of the onion should be relative to that of the liver. Basically, we don't want to have too much onion as we are not adding an extender but rather just to add additional flavor and texture to our dish. After chopping the onions, just set them aside in bowl for mixing later. start chopping our pork meat. Again, we are using leftover pork, hence is why we haven't covered here the part on cooking the pork. We'll reserve that for another video. This video is merely to give an idea on how a leftover dish can be transformed into another dish. You can chop the meat with a chopper or cleaver, or you can do the same here. Just cut the meat into strips and then cut the strips into cubes. Once done, you should have the pork meat cut like so. Now we are done with the hardest and probably the longest part of preparing this dish. Time to incorporate all of our ingredients. In a bowl, mix in our chopped liver. The liver should be chopped the same way how it was done with the pork meat. Try to stick with the ratio of the liver and the pork or you can add more as you desire depending on your preference. Now we put in the chopped onions, followed by the salt and pepper. The amount of salt and pepper depends on your taste. Also, we could add in our lime or calamansi juice, then followed by our spiced vinegar. Make sure to mix it all well. Don't forget to taste as you mix, making sure that it's within your taste preference. Now we can add in our mayonnaise. In the Philippines, we usually put in the cooked pig's brain. However, since it's not available right now, we are simply using mayonnaise to balance the sourness and saltiness of the dish. Lastly, we can add in pickled chilies. It may be an overkill for some, but the pickled chilies add more texture and spice to the sisi. Hence, you can opt to not put chili if you don't like it. This is not a sizzling sisig without a sizzling plate. This dish can be eaten as is, or as I have mentioned in the early part of the video, served it in a sizzling plate for a more dramatic or enticing plating. Get it? So heat up a cast iron pan and then put in about a tablespoon of margarine. Then once smoking, scoop a part of our sisig into the pan.
give it a little stir and serve while it's hot. It's also best had with a cold beer. Enjoy!